bacon. Mm. So cooking on our wood stove, firing it up, getting it good and hot, putting the griddle on there. I'm starting off with some bacon. I cut two strips in half so they fit better on the on the griddle. This is a lodge griddle. Obviously you can use whatever kind you have available. Lodge is in Tennessee and they make it the same old-fashioned way that they've always been making it. A great thing is if you can find an old piece from a relative, somebody that <clears throat> You know, is passing it down from generation to generation. That'd be awesome. Let's be self-sufficient and self-reliant and cook bacon together. Bacon is the best. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We cook the bacon until it's almost done. Check the fire to make sure it's hot. Then we put some peppers and onions, cut and sliced. These are frozen from the garden back in the summer. We like bacon or we like sausage too, and some peppers and onions, and then eggs. Normally, I would just crack the eggs right into the griddle, but I mixed them up, kind of sort of scrambled in a bowl. That looks like <laughs> maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Winging it here on the, <laughs> cooking on the wood stove. The eggs are running all over the place. Where'd my bacon go? <laughs> so then we just cook it and mix it and stir it, and it cooks a little slower. I guess I could have depending on the temperature of the fire that you have. There's my bacon. Obviously a hotter fire is gonna cook faster. This is probably about 320, 325 degrees. So it's, it's a little bit cool for cooking. Cook your food just like you normally cook it. The thing is, you never know when the electricity might be off. You might have no power. You might have to think up creative ways to make a meal. Maybe a winter storm or summer storm or a power company failure. An automobile accident, taking out a power line, telephone pole or something. You just never know when you might need to come up with a different way of cooking a meal. Use a spatula to turn over the eggs, flipping regularly like you would, again, when you normally cook. Scarlet, are you hoping I drop some food? <laughs> this bacon and eggs look awesome. Too bad you can't smell it. <laughs> I can. Some people worry about the food sticking to cast iron. Hey, just use plenty of bacon grease, butter, or your favorite oil in a well-seasoned piece of cast iron. I like my bacon a little on the soft side. <laughs> and finally, it's done cooking and ready to eat. Cook the old-fashioned way with cast iron and a wood stove. So if you have a friend that's into self-sufficient cooking, cooking off the grid, cooking if there's no power like during a storm, that likes cooking with cast iron on a wood stove, whatever, hey, please share this video with them because I think they'll find it interesting. And if you have any questions about self-sufficient living or anything at all, ask. We truly want you to succeed. We want you living your self-sufficient dreams. Living happy, living fun-loving, and living carefree. Live life doing it yourself.